Hello everyone. Here today in this post we would like to talk about conservation of angular momentum. Before going to conservation of angular momentum, let us discuss first what is an angular momentum is. We know angular momentum which is represented with a letter L is defined as moment of momentum. Moment of momentum. moment of is a way of saying that uh, moment of is a way of saying that we have to multiply with the distance so moment of momentum is a way of saying that uh, r bar cross p bar where r is the distance from the axis of rotation at which we are calculating the angular momentum and it is also clear by the way that we have written that uh, angular momentum is a vector quantity and it is the cross product of two vectors radius vector and the linear momentum of a vector and we can further say r bar cross p bar as mbr or we can write m of r bar cross v bar and when you are writing the magnitude of the angular momentum simply we can write mvr we can further write that that the angular momentum l is equal to m we know that v can be written like r omega and r so this is nothing but equal to mr square omega at the broader level mr square is nothing but the moment of inertia of the body so we can write angular momentum as the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity now we know that force in a translatory motion can be defined as rate of change of momentum similar to this in translatory motion to that of the force in translatory motion we have torque in rotatory motion which is defined as rate of change of instead of linear momentum simply angular momentum so we have just now proved that uh, angular momentum is nothing but equal to i omega so we can rewrite the equation for the torque as being i equal to constant we can write it outside the differentiation d omega by dt so i can write torque as equal to nothing but equal to i alpha torque is nothing but equal to i alpha of course i have just derived a formula to show you what is the equation for the torque is but now let us go to a concept of something like conservation of the momentum angular momentum conservation we want to explain conservation of angular momentum now as we said torque is defined as rate of change of angular momentum if suppose we have taken a situation like if there is no external torque acting then we can say rate of change of angular momentum equal to zero that means change in the angular momentum equal to zero that means angular momentum equal to constant this is called conservation of angular momentum that if there is no external torque acting on any system who is in rotational motion the angular momentum of a system equal to constant we also know that angular momentum is nothing but i omega so i into omega equal to constant that implies moment of inertia is inversely proportional to angular velocity this is called conservation of angular momentum it is satisfied for every body in rotational motion when there is no external torque acting on the system according to conservation of angular momentum when there is no external torque acting on a system product of moment of inertia of the body with angular velocity is equal to constant so it is the another way of understanding this is if by any way if you reduce the moment of inertia the angular velocity of the body increases and vice versa or if we increase the moment of inertia angular velocity of the body decreases let us see a simple law example to explain the conservation of an angular momentum assume that there is a table this table is a rotating table 
let a boy is standing on the table like this keeping his hands and legs close to his body he is rotating about an axis passing through his head like this now because he is rotating with a certain angular velocity we can say he is in rotational motion this boy is having some axis of rotation passing through head his body particles are at a certain distance because of which he has some moment of inertia say some mr square using a sigma mr square formula now if the boy has changed his posture on the same rotating table if the boy has now changed his posture in such a way that his hands and legs are quite away from the axis of rotation this is his axis of rotation it is very clear that when compared with the second in the first case in the second case the distance of the particles from the axis of rotation increases as the distance of the particle increases moment of inertia being mr square increases as the moment of inertia increases as and there is no external torque is acting on the system his angular velocity decreases so if the boy want to slow down himself without applying any external force simply he will stretch his body away from the axis of rotation therefore his moment of inertia increases and hence angular velocity decreases this is one simple example let us consider some one more example where we want to explain the law of conservation of angular momentum let us consider an acrobat on the swing board on the top of a swimming pool this is a swimming pool here is a boy he is an acrobat like an olympic game he has to make somersaults in the air he has to make somersaults in the air before he strikes the floor the winner is decided basing on how many somersaults or how much complex somersaults that he has made in the air he has to make the somersaults in the air not before leaving the springboard or not after striking the water body now he will this is all the water he will jump from the floor from the springboard and if you observe him he actually folds his entire body like a ball he will get his legs and hand close to each other that's why that way this is his axis of rotation he is rotating about the axis passing through the center of the body as the body parts are close to him his moment of inertia decreases as there is no external torque acting on the system as moment of inertia decreases automatically the angular velocity increases as his angular velocity increases he makes more rotations in the air he will be keep on rotating but you know when he start reaching the bottom of that water body or a bottom of the swimming pool he again start stretching his body like get his legs away from the head and let his hands also away from the body why now the swimmer sounds that whatever he has to made has already made now he is striking the water body he has to look for the security if he go and strike the bottom of the swimming pool with that much of the higher angular velocity that may give him an injury he want to get protected protected from that injury so he want to reduce his angular velocity and there is no one out from outside who can reduce his angular velocity so what he is going to do extend the body as the body is extended the distance of the particles from the axis of rotation increases as r increases moment of inertia increases as moment of inertia increases angular velocity decreases and he safely lands into the water this is the way that he is using the conservation of angular momentum so to sum up the point is simple according to conservation of angular momentum if there is no external torque acting on the system angular momentum of a system is constant or moment of inertia of that body is 
inversely proportional to angular velocity. This is one of the conservating factors in, ro in rotational motion which can be treated like a basic physical quantity which is always conserved when of course no external torque is acting and it shall help us in solving the problems also. Thank you. Your comments and your feedback is most welcome.